Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Every day, from the moment you open your eyes in the morning to closing your eyes in the night, you experience different types of signals. For instance, the sound of alarm clock, the hissing sound of the kettle, the images we see in our smartphones, newspapers, and so on, to the videos we watch on social media. And even now, you watching this video, these all are examples of some general signals we witness every day. Yet there are some intangible signals that you cannot see or hear, such as input or output voltages, navigation signals received on the GPS antenna installed in your car, and so on. There are different ways how the signals can be categorized based how it manifests, such as analog or digital, or how it is better analyzed and presented. Here we consider the latter case. Various types of signals are better analyzed by representing them in either time or frequency domain. So, in the today's video, we have an exciting topic to cover. The difference between time domain and frequency domain signals. So, let's dive right in. Let's talk about the time domain first. In the time domain, signals are represented as amplitude variations over time. It's like looking at the waveform of a signal as it changes from one point to another. The x-axis represents time, and the y-axis represents the amplitude of the signal at that specific moment. Time domain analysis is great for understanding the behavior of a signal over time and identifying various characteristics like peaks, valleys, and transitions. Now let's move on to the frequency domain. In the frequency domain, signals are represented in terms of their constituent frequencies. Instead of looking at how the signal changes over time, we examine the signal's frequency components and their corresponding magnitudes. Here, the x-axis represents frequency, and the y-axis represents the magnitude or amplitude of each frequency component. Frequency domain analysis helps us understand the various frequencies that make up a complex signal, and is incredibly useful in applications like signal filtering and spectral analysis. It's essential to understand that time and frequency domains are not separate entities. They are closely related through the mathematical concept of the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform allows us to convert a signal from the time domain to the frequency domain and vice versa. This means we can examine a signal's behavior either in time or in frequency, depending on our needs. Let's explore some practical applications. In time domain analysis, we can measure the duration of a signal, calculate the signal's energy, or determine the time taken for the signal to reach its peak value. In contrast, Frequency domain analysis enables us to identify the dominant frequencies present in a signal, perform filtering operations, and understand the frequency response of a system. Here, we have a time domain waveform of a simple audio signal. Notice how the amplitude varies with time. Now, let's apply the Fourier transform to convert this time domain signal into the frequency domain. Voila! We can now observe the different frequency components that make up this signal. To better grasp the concept, let's explore some real-world examples. In audio processing, time domain analysis helps us visualize sound waves, while frequency domain analysis allows us to equalize audio signals and remove unwanted frequencies. In telecommunications, time domain analysis helps in pulse shaping, while frequency domain analysis is crucial for understanding channel bandwidth and signal modulation. So in conclusion, Time domain and frequency domain analysis are two powerful tools that allow us to study signals from different perspectives. The time domain focuses on signal behavior over time, while the frequency domain highlights the signal's frequency components. Both domains have their unique applications in various fields, ranging from engineering and telecommunications to audio processing and medical imaging. In the next video, we would get to MATLAB, where would learn in more detail how to analyze time domain signals, but also introduce Fourier and inverse Fourier transform that are very popular techniques to convert the signals from time to frequency domains. We would also learn how to implement these techniques on some signals from real life. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found it informative, and that you now have a better understanding of time domain versus frequency domain signals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. As always, feel free to leave your questions and suggestions in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care and keep learning. Goodbye!